Hello and welcome to the feature walkthrough video for America's History for the AP course, 8th edition, published by Bedford, Freeman, and Worth. In this video series, we will look at the America's History program, including the student edition, the teacher's ancillary materials, and our innovative technology options. This is an overview of what we will cover in this video series. First, we will highlight the four authors that bring America's history to life. Second, we will explain the student program. Third, we will cover the multitude of teachers' resources available for this text. Fourth, we will go over the different technology options available for students and teachers. And finally, we will leave you with different resources for professional development opportunities. James A. Henretta is the Professor Emeritus of American History at the University of Maryland, College Park. His publications include Salutary Neglect, Colonial Administration under the Duke of Newcastle, The Origins of American Capitalism, and an edited volume, Republicanism and Liberalism in America and the German States, 1750 to 1850. Charles Evan Hughes and the Strange Death of Liberal America in Law and History Review. Rebecca Edwards is the Eloise Ellery Professor of History at Vassar College. Her publications include Angels in the Machinery, Gender and American Party Politics from the Civil War to the Progressive Era, New Spirits, Americans in the Gilded Age, 1865 to 1905, and the essay Women's and Gender History in the New American History. She is currently researching the connections between Westward expansion, high frontier fertility, and 19th century political ideologies. Eric Hinderocker is a professor of history and director of graduate studies at the University of Utah. His research explores early modern imperialism, relations between Europeans and Native Americans, and comparative colonization. His publications include The Two Hendricks, Unraveling a Mohawk Mystery, Elusive Empires, Constructing Colonialism in the Ohio Valley, 1673-1800, At the Edge of Empire, The Back Country in British North America. He is currently working on two books, one about the Boston Massacre and one on patterns of European colonization in the Americas. Robert O. Selp is a professor of history at Brown University. His research focuses on urban history, American politics, and the post-1945 United States. He is the author of American Babylon, Race and the Struggle for Post-War Oakland, and All in the Family, the Realignment of American Democracy Since the 1960s. Self is currently at work on a book about the centrality of houses, cars, and children to family consumption in the 20th century United States. Now that you've learned more about the authors, it's time to look at the student program for America's history. America's history has long had a reputation in the AP community for its balanced coverage, engaging narrative, and attention to AP themes and content. In the 8th edition, the text was re-periodized to align with the redesigned course and features new pedagogy and features aimed at helping AP students prepare for the new exam. You will notice the student edition has an emphasis on developing historical thinking skills as assessed by the College Board, the new nine-part structure, which makes the transition to the redesigned exam seamless, and new document features prepare students for the rigor of the document-based question, or DBQ. It is also important for you to know that America's History 8th edition is correlated to the 2015 updates to the AP U.S. History curriculum. The Historical Thinking Skills Primer, authored by David Newman, is a unique section in the front matter of the text, after the table of contents and list of maps and features, that walks students through the steps to learn and then practice the four skills emphasized by AP U.S. History, historical argumentation, chronological reasoning, comparison and contextualization, and interpretation and synthesis. Using concrete examples from the book, the skills primer also teaches students how to read and write like a historian and then deploy all these skills on the AP U.S. History exam. This is an excellent feature to prepare students for the rigorous college-level course. One of the most widely praised features of America's history is the unique part structure of the text. Organizing U.S. history into nine distinct periods encourages students to trace changes and continuities over time and grasp connections between political, economic, social, and cultural events. Of course, the periods presented in America's history are simply one interpretation, and throughout the text, students are encouraged to think critically about different interpretations of United States history. From part to part, the central themes will change. For example, in part two, 
covering the time period 1660 to 1763, the central theme addressed by the authors deals with development. In contrast, Part 3, which covers the time period 1763 to 1820, the central theme presented is economics. In the example shown here, Part 6 covers the period 1877 to 1917. Economic issues again take center stage during the period that includes the Great Depression, World War II, and the rise of the middle class after World War II. The part structure allows students to preview the materials they are about to study, provides a great review tool, and also helps students to identify patterns of continuity and change over time. Here you see an example of one of the part opening sections which provides an introduction to the time period, coverage of key themes, and a graphic organizer that shows how themes interact and develop over time. The thematic timeline is an engaging graphic organizer that helps students with their contextualization, making connections across different strands, and also helps them with their chronological reasoning skills as they see how themes change over time. America's history provides extensive pedagogical support for students before, during, and after each chapter. It also offers a chapter preview to help students see the roadmap for the chapter at a glance. By previewing what they are about to read, students are able to comprehend the text more fully. There are also analytical questions that follow each major section of the narrative. These questions encourage students to review what they have read and make sense of it. Finally, there is a chapter summary and some big picture chapter review questions at the conclusion of every chapter. The questions found in America's history are not just factual recall. They ask students to think critically about what they have read. For example, consider this question. How did the South Atlantic system create an interconnected Atlantic world, and how did this system impact development in the British colonies? Many books designed for college-level classes do not offer chapter previews or questions that appear throughout the chapter. America's History, however, offers students consistent resources to help them read and understand the content and key concepts of each chapter. Each chapter also contains a summary of the reading to help students process what they have just read. Additionally, after each section, there is a set of analytical questions. These questions keep students engaged in the reading in addition to emphasize thinking critically about the text. Unique thematic timelines identify the important forces shaping each period, make connections between chapters, and show the continuity and change over time. Review questions at the end of each chapter ask students to consider broader historical developments and periodization. Marginal questions, such as place events and context, and understand points of view, encourage students to think comparatively within and across chapters. These questions meet the College Board's learning objectives. Colorful visuals and maps reinforce the story and keep students engaged. America's history's vibrant, full-color art and carefully crafted maps and figures support comprehension and keep students engaged. One of the strengths of America's history is the ongoing emphasis on primary source documents found in the text. Three types of primary source features offer many opportunities for working with historical evidence and prepare students for the rigor of the DBQ, American Voices, America Compared, and Thinking Like a Historian. America Compared situates U.S. history in its global context while giving students practice in comparison, analyzing evidence, and data analysis. Thinking Like a Historian offers AP skill building in a DBQ-like environment. American Voices features primary sources written from two or more perspectives that help students learn to think critically about point of view and perspective. There are a number of supplementary resources for students to use to aid in their journey through America's history. These are the two-volume document reader, Sources for America's History, and the Examination Preparation Guide, Strive for a Five. The two volumes of Sources for America's History feature primary source documents that enrich the study of U.S. history. Each document has contextual headnotes and questions for analysis. Strive for a Five, Preparing for the AP United States History Exam, helps students master key themes and concepts and develops their historical thinking skills. This guide contains an About the Exam section, tips and strategies for success, narrative overview and the correlations to the text. There are also AP-style practice tests which include multiple choice questions, 
document-based essay questions, and continuity and change over time essay, a comparative essay, and a full answer key making this the best companion for student practice. I hope we've answered your questions about America's History 8th edition student resources. The next video will highlight the accompanying resources. If you have any questions about America's history, its supplements, and technology, or any of our other social studies titles, please feel free to email us at socialstudies at bfwpub.com at your convenience.